Welcome to part one of the New York State Comptroller's Bureau of Contracts Agency Guide to Completing the Vendor Responsibility Profile. The profile is used to document an agency's vendor responsibility review process. The following will discuss the proper way to fill out the form. Part one. This should include the business unit, agency name, department ID, and department division name, the contract or PO number, amendment sequence, transaction amount, and total contract value, the vendor's full legal name and DBA if necessary, the New York State vendor ID, and the taxpayer ID. Please make sure these last three items match the information entered in SFS and contained in the contract documents. You should note whether the vendor is the prime contractor or subcontractor and provide a description of the intent of the contract. The name, phone number, and email of the agency contact is necessary in case OSC has any questions. It is also a good idea to include an alternate contact just in case. Please make sure this information is up to date. If the vendor discloses any issues or you find issues on your own, the yes box should be checked. Verify that the workers' compensation, disability coverage, or exemption is accurate, up to date, and included. In part two of the profile, Provide the certified date for the vendor responsibility questionnaire that has been reviewed. If the vendor used paper, include a copy. A description of your VR review process must also be included. More detail will be provided regarding this in Part 2 of this e-learning module. When you have completed your VR review, fill out Part 3. Check the appropriate determination, sign, and date it. Make sure that the review date is current. If it's older than 90 days from OSC receipt, it may not be considered current. Make sure the person signing the profile is an authorized signer for your agency. This also applies to electronic signatures. When would you check the non-responsible box? When you actually deem a vendor non-responsible after performing your due diligence. Normally, when you find a vendor non-responsible, you award to the next lowest or ranked bidder. You then send both vendors' profiles in the procurement record documents to OSC for review and approval. This concludes Part 1 of the Bureau of Contracts Agency Guide to Filling Out the Vendor Responsibility Profile. Please proceed to Part 2 to learn the proper way to fill out Attachment A. If you have any questions, please contact us.